people of the internet. This video is going to be a little bit different. I've got a project announcement and I've decided to do it in a different video to avoid having a very very long intro in the first part of this video series that I'm starting today. Anyway, so in this video I'm going to explain my design plan. I have already planned my next four sewing videos and I'm just going to tell you what they are today. My plan is to create an updated version of Briar Rose's costume in the Disney film Sleeping Beauty. I will just put an image here so you know what I'm talking about in case you didn't know already. This outfit is very earthstony with like a lot of beige colors which is <laughs> totally not me. So I'm going to spice it up. The first two videos are already pretty fixed because I already have some materials and patterns and stuff so I don't think those are going to change much but the other two there could be some variables I'm just going to tell you what my ideas are at this point and maybe they'll change maybe they won't I'm going to do this in Photoshop I'll take the image I just showed you and space it up Let's start with the skirt, even though it will be the second video. For this I'm going to create a 1950s circle skirt. Considering the film was released in 1959, I feel entirely justified to do that. I'm going to make it quite different to my previous attempt. Video above and below, and I'm going to use a beautiful wool I bought last year. More to come in the corresponding video. Underneath the skirt we can see a petticoat peeking. Therefore, I will also make a 1950s petticoat. This should be the first video out. It's the only thing I haven't changed from the original image because I'm okay with the tiny bit visible. I mean, I totally plan on adding some scalloped trim to the hem. The top should be the third video. I hate three quarter sleeves and also that veggie color. So I'm going to make a white peasant blouse with long puffy sleeves instead. I plan on taking some inspiration from historical shifts and chemises. We'll see how that goes. Finally, we have the corset top. First of all, straps. I am definitely adding straps. My boobs are way too small to hold a bandeau top like that. I will probably make it with a front closure, but other than that, my plans are still half cooked at this point. All right. So that's it for this video. I hope you're excited to see some of these projects. I'm very excited. I'm going fabric shopping tomorrow to Gold Hook Road. Gold Hook Road. Gold Hook Road. Gold Hook Road. I'm going fabric shopping tomorrow to Gold Hook Road. Yeah, not bad. So wish me luck. I'm hoping to find all of my materials. Please let me know in the comments below which of the projects I just told you about you're the most looking for. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Hopefully you understand. Sorry, I'm not a native speaker. <laughs> Sometimes my brain just... And if you would like to join me with all of those future shenanigans, sewing or otherwise, don't hesitate to subscribe in the link button thing thing below the video. I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye!